be shot at Mill Ride in Ascot. Stepping up to the first tee here, hit a decent drive. Just the wind started taking it towards the left. Turned up just over the bunker at 260 yards. Hit a fat second shot. Hit an eight iron and probably hit it about 120 yards, which I mean is okay for the next layup. Had 158 yards left. Hit another eight iron and left myself just short of the green into wind. Then hit a good putt. Again, these greens are pretty soft in the minute. They've just been holotined. So I was struggling all day to try and find the right pace. I had a nice tap in putt. Second hole is a par four. I don't know why the, the tracer keeps coming up with the carry. I did try and take that off, but it kept coming up, which is quite annoying. Again, hit a good three wood. Come out. Just stayed in. Come out. Hit a wedge, had 110 yards in. And I thought the wind mm. would take it more to the left, but it didn't. I got a lucky bounce though and rolled on. Made a good putt again, just broke a little bit more than I expected. I'm in for par again. For par three, it says I hit it 156 yards, but the actual hole was 195 yards. So it's definitely wrong. Um, left myself a good opportunity for birdie, sort of pin high. Again, another good roll on it, and then oh. tapping it in for par. But it breaks a little bit, and I pot a bogey. Oh. Right. Driver here, just up the right-hand side, and I absolutely flushed this driver. Went to pick up T, and it's not there. I probably carry this about 310 yards, slightly downwind. Hit a good wedge in, had 120 yards here, so I hit a little 50 degree. And left myself five feet for birdie look. Again, not wanting to hit it too hard, because I know this green's fast. And I obviously don't hit it hard enough. And it just breaks away from the hole. But it's a nice, easy tapping par. Stay Again, in. hit driver off the t this tee. It was playing slightly long today because of the wind, so it would normally be a three wood, but just just stayed in on the right hand side. Had a pitching wedge in and it just pushed out to the right. Managed to carry it over the bunker. And this wedge shot I was so happy with. Nearly made it. Now I've got that from par. And this is a classic case of thinking a putt is too easy. And I just push it, and I make a bogey, which could have been an easy part. This hole is a, a nice short par four at 290 yards. Could go driver and try and drive the green, but if you miss hit it, you've got trees right and left. It's very narrow. Laid up with a nine, and then had a wedge in. Hit a nice wedge shot, again left it pin high. Good look for birdie here. Now this green is one of the faster greens on the course, as it's where the sun rises and just dries out a lot quicker. But that's another par of the car. The same style of hole, very narrow. Hit a little, little toey six iron. And that tree, I always seem to hit right in the middle. Um, hit a pitching wedge from 136 okay. yards. I thought it'd be too much. Um, and it just, just spun up on me and landed short. Hit a fairly decent wedge shot. Just my alignment was out, so end up about 10 feet, 12 feet to the left of the hole. And made a good, good putt here for par. The next hole's a par three, and with these temporary tees at the minute, I'm really not enjoying the distance, 114 yards, and I always seem to chunk it a little bit. Go. Left myself, hit a 58 degree here, trying to land it uphill, close to that pin so it'd stop. Again, hit a good roll on this putt, it's fairly straight up the hill, and then towards the end, just moved away. But, carding a bogey, 
from missing the green is not bad. Onto the ninth hole here. There's a lot of fairway to the right, so I wasn't too worried about opening up my hips. And hit a great drive, probably about 2.30 because of the downwind, which was amazing. Left myself with a wedge in. Had 98 yards in on that one and odd par four. I absolutely flushed oh. this wedge and it hits the lip of the bunker and just rolls back. If it hit that slope, it would have bounced forward and been perfect. But it hit a good wedge shot out of the bunker here. And my camera stops filming and this one, but I two putt and make bogey. The tenth hole, the carry keeps coming back up and hit a good drive, little cut down the middle of the fairway. It's par five, so I've got a good chance of getting to green two. It's six iron from 195 and just over, turns it over a little bit too much. Leave himself pin high on the rough. I took such a bad bounce. <laughs> Not a great wedge shot. Banned in a pitch mark and sort of just kicked to the right. Then got a oh. putt for birdie here. And again, I'm not reading these greens quite right, but I've got a nice, easy tap in par. Par three here, 152 yards to the flag today, hit a wedge. And then just safety shot out to the right. It was after the sit long down, putt. Yeah. And it was a pretty good pace on that putt. Give himself a good chance for a par. And I make it. Oh, no. So this hole, I always end up on that right fairway. No matter what it is, there's so ah. much room. I always end up there. But it's not a bad look in to the green. So we hit a 58 degree wedge here. And I wasn't happy with it at all. As you yeah. can hear from the sound, I caught it a little bit bottomy. Fuck off. And it just flies over to the back of the green. Got a nice little chip here down the hill. Again, it's going to roll out quite a lot here. No spin from that rough, which helped me out quite a lot. Give the putt a good roll here, making sure I get it all the way there and past. That's a par, but still carding a bogey from two bad shots is not a bad result. Sit down. Hit a dreadful shot here, take a three iron, and I toe hook it into the trees up the left. And recently I've been treating every tree shot as if it's 90% air, and I hit the tiniest gap in the world with a little cut to leave me just towards the front of the green here from 156 yards. Good wedge shot, has a lot of spin on it and sort of just stops dead. Doesn't move up a bunch at all. Sit down. Leave himself with a pretty, pretty nasty putt up the hill. Didn't move at all this one. But again, just a tap in bogey. Oh. Next hole is a, a sharp dog leg right. Flush of five iron and carries all of the waste over to the right hand side and leave myself perfect <laughs> positioning in the fairway oh no and then i chunk an eight iron i'm very upset about this one the fuck out of it hit a good chip following the contours of the green it starts to move around to the flag and i leave myself with about an eight footer for par oh <laughs> And again, just hits the lip and misses. But another bogey for the card, doesn't hurt. Par three is 165 yards. Hit an eight iron. I didn't hit all of an eight iron because oh. it was slightly downhill. But it ended up being the wrong choice. I leave myself just short. Hit a good chip though. Again, just using that little hill to bring the ball back into the pin. Leave myself with 10 feet for par. And again, my alignment was off and I just miss it. So 
so that's another four on a par three. So far today, haven't made any pars on the par threes. Hit a chunky oh, five iron, fat, but leaves myself with a good way in on this hole. Probably went about 160 yards. Right! Pitch wedge here and not a great result. I hit it so far out of the toe, the ball almost toe shanks off to the right and hits the people on the next tee box, which isn't great at all. That's so bad. I then get underneath the ball with the wedge and just leave myself on the front of the green with a tricky putt with a double break in green. Misread that for par. But end up carding a bogey, which on this hole with those shots is a very good result. I enjoy this hole a lot because there's quite a bit of water to the right, which I can carry. So it brings the hole a lot shorter. It's a stroke of next three on the card. Hit a great drive down the middle. Leave myself with a 9-9 in. Again, just a little bit off the toe. Sends the ball out to that right-hand side. But I'm confident enough on my wedges that I can get it back onto the green and have to hit a nice little hill shot almost behind me to get to where the flag is. Left myself about 15 feet and just missed. I keep hitting the lips on all of these putts. So the putts are good, it's just lining it up correctly. Last hole, par five, gettable. It's today and today about 450 par five. Hit a good drive, carries 310 yards, no rollout at all. Do myself with a pitching wedge in. The pin is back left and I push it out to the right again. So I've got to make a good chip here for Eagle, land it about halfway and let it roll out. So now, I mean, I land it halfway. But but... It didn't spin as expected, caught a little down slope and just rolled off the edge of the green. Have another little 54 here, nearly make it for birdie. Okay. And then just a tap in with the wedge for par. So overall today, it was a good day. I shot nine over, carding an 81, which is good for my handicap.